Today we're going to look at customizing the look and feel of Telerix RAD diagrams. RAD diagrams is part of Telerix RAD controls for Silverlight WPF Control Suite for .NET XAML development. In this video we will customize the RAD diagram and the elements inside of it in Visual Studio 2010. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we are, we're back inside of Visual Studio 2010 and we are working with the same project that we worked with in the previous three parts. So we have a couple of references here as a recap. We have Telerik.windows.controls, Telerik.windows.controls.diagram, and Telerik.windows.diagrams.core. These are the three controls that are needed to actually use the RAD diagram control. Once that's in place, we have a RAD diagram set up that allows copy, pasting, deleting, and cutting. And then we've added in a little bit of sample data as well as some custom shapes that was in part three of the series. We added in a RAD diagram connection which gives us these connections that you can see in the designer window. And then finally we added a couple of buttons that will allow us to toggle between the connector mode pan tool or the pointer tool. And if you would like more in-depth information about uh, any of this, uh, just check out the previous three parts of the series. So this episode is all about customizing the look and feel of the RAD diagram. So we're going to begin by showing you what the application looks like as is. So we go debug, start without debugging, we select our pen tool. So we see we kind of have a standard grid here with uh, a couple of items as well. So maybe your user would like to change the background of this, or maybe he would like to remove the grid lines or make some adjustments to the grid line thickness. Uh, maybe you would like to change the colors of each element. So let's just go ahead and see how you would do some of that. So we'll go ahead and close out of this window and I'm just going to go back to my RAD diagram and the first thing that I'm going to customize is my background. So I'm going to select background and I'm just going to select, I'll just select Alice Blue to keep it simple. You can see as we type that in the designer updated and if we run the application you can get a little bit closer look of the background has been changed. Next up we may want to change our grid line thickness. So I'm just going to come back to where we were at just a second ago and I'm going to type in grid line thickness and we'll just set it to 5. So once we set it to 5 you can see again from the designer window that the grid lines, uh, the grid line thickness has increased. So again, I'm just going to run these applications where you can see it a little bit closer up. So now we've set the grid line thickness. Maybe that's a little too much. We'll just drop it back down to two for the rest of this demo and play with a few more properties. So now that we changed the grid line thickness, uh, you may want to change the grid color. So I'm going to type grid color and for this one let's just set it to black and, and I'm picking these horribly ugly colors uh, just to kind of be able to show you what the changes are in our RAD diagram control. So if we run this application as well you can see our black uh, grid color. So let's change that to something that's a little bit easier on the eyes here. And we'll change that to maybe an Azure. Maybe you don't want the grid at all. So maybe you would want to turn the is grid visible property to false. So once you do that and you run the application, you will see that you no longer have the grid lines visible on the screen. So now that we played a little bit with our grid 
and we've customized it, let's take a look at one of the shapes. So I'm going to purposely select diagram number four where we can kind of see some of this happening in the designer. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to set maybe the background to, we'll set it to an aqua color. And as you can see, it updated automatically in our designer. The next property that I'm going to toggle is going to be the foreground. And maybe we want to just use a blue violet here. And as you can see, it's updated that as well. And to things such as the font. So the font size. Maybe you want this font to be a little bit bigger for this element. You can easily change that font size. You can change the font as well, as long as it's added inside of this app. So if we run this application, even though they're not very attractive colors, you can see that we have customized the look and feel of the element. So as I said earlier, this is part four of a series. We have looked at getting started to copy, pasting, cutting and deleting elements, to adding in custom shape elements, to customizing the look and feel, and in our last part of the series, we're going to look at using the rad ribbon bar with rad diagram. So tune in to tv.telerik.com for more videos and check out blogs.telerik.com for the latest news and announcements. Thank you.